In hemolymph extraction and total hemocyte count determination, we need the following materials. 26 gauge 1 ml syringe, shrimp, microcentrifuge tube, hemocytometer, and anticoagulant containing 450 millimolar sodium chloride, 10 millimolar potassium chloride, 10 millimolar HEPES, and 10 millimolar EDTA adjusted to pH 7.3. Prior to hemolymph extraction, it is important to disinfect the outer surface of the shrimp. This is to prevent contamination of the samples and to protect the animal from accidental contamination with bacteria and other pathogens that colonize their exoskeleton. Disinfect the exoskeleton with 70% ethanol placed on a sterile cotton. Place 200 microliter of anticoagulant solution in a 1 ml 26 gauge tuberculin syringe. Anticoagulant is used to prevent clotting of the hemolymph and is ideally used at a ratio of 1 part hemolymph to 2 parts anticoagulant or 1 part hemolymph to 3 parts anticoagulant. In this activity, hemolymph to anticoagulant ratio will be at 1 is to 2. Position the shrimp with the ventral side facing towards you. Position the syringe on the ventral sinus of the shrimp and from there, draw 100 microliter of hemolymph slowly. After extraction, mix the hemolymph evenly with the anticoagulant to prevent it from clotting. Transfer the extracted hemolymph in a microcentrifuge tube. While waiting for the hemocytes to be counted, place your samples on ice. Alternatively, if you won't count the hemocytes right away, you can add 10% phosphate buffered formalin and keep your samples in a cool temperature to preserve the cells. Transfer 100 microliter of hemolymph in a sterile microcentrifuge tube. Place a drop of rose bengal solution and incubate for 20 minutes to allow staining of the hemocytes. Place a drop of the hemolymph on a hemocytometer and put a cover slip on top of it. Examine the cells under the microscope. You will see small cells under the 10x magnification, but once you shift to the 40x magnification, you can differentiate the different types of hemocytes, the granular, semi-granular, and hyaline cells. Once you already examine the cells, count them and compute the total hemocyte count expressed as cells per ml of hemolymph. The hemocytometer is a thick microscope slide with two counting chambers on reflective sections. Each chamber is divided into nine main squares with a series of etched lines. These squares are 1 mm by 1 mm or 1 mm squared. When a glass cover slip is placed on top of this chamber, each of these nine squares contains 100 nanoliters of liquid. Then you look at the grid under the microscope and count the number of cells in a square. How do you count a cell if it lies right on the edge of a square? Well, you decide before you count on two sides of the square that will be considered in and two that will be considered out so that you won't double count an edge cell. You do this for at least four squares and then average the cells together. Since you know that each of these squares is 100 nanoliters, you now have your cells per 100 nanoliter density. You can then multiply this by 10,000 to get cells per milliliter. If the mixture is very dense, you can use some of the smaller subdivided squares to help count and keep track of the cells. To 
To solve for the total hemocyte count, get the average of the four blocks multiplied by the dilution correction factor, then multiply it by 10,000. How do we compute for the dilution correction factor and why is it necessary? First of all, the hemolymph is already diluted. We need to compute for the dilution correction factor in order to determine the concentration of cells in the hemolymph alone, not with the presence of the anticoagulant. Thus, take the total volume of the hemolymph extracted plus the anticoagulant used and divide it by the volume of the hemolymph extracted. Since 100 UL of hemolymph was extracted and 200 UL of anticoagulant was used, the dilution correction factor is 3. In this example, the four corner blocks have counts of 82, 86, 95, and 93. Using the formula, we have to first get the average of the four blocks, which is 89, then multiply it to the dilution correction factor that we computed earlier, which is 3, and multiply it by 10,000 to get cells per ml. Thus, the total hemocyte count is 2.67 times 10 raised to 6 cells per ml. Thank you.